This invention is called the terracotta valve. It can be used to control sprinkler irrigation or drip irrigation. Unglazed terracotta pots, called oleus, have been used for water saving irrigation since the first century BC. The terracotta valve uses an unglazed terracotta pot as the centrepiece of a state-of-the-art smart irrigation valve. Before I give you a detailed description of the terracotta valve, I must emphasize the most amazing feature. It is completely unpowered. No electricity, no batteries, no electronics, no computers, and no Wi-Fi. Connect the water supply to the valve inlet and connect the irrigation application to the valve outlet. Turn on the water supply and the irrigation will start immediately. A control dripper drips water into the terracotta pot during the irrigation. The irrigation stops automatically after 250 mils of water have dripped into the pot. The irrigation will start again automatically after 250 mils of water have evaporated from the outside surface of the porous terracotta pot. The cycle continues indefinitely and so you can leave your garden unattended for months on end. A terracotta saucer sits on top of the pot so that the water in the pot is protected from algae, mosquitoes and thirsty animals. There are eight small drain holes in the saucer. When using a conventional irrigation controller, you need to set the start time and the end time for each irrigation event. However, with the self-controlled terracotta valve, you don't need a timer. The duration of the irrigation event is simply the time it takes for 250 mils of water to drip into the pot. The important thing to note here is that the control dripper is adjustable. If you reduce the flow rate of the control dripper, then it will take a lot longer for the 250 mils to drip into the pot. And so the duration of the irrigation event increases and your plants will get more water. On the other hand, if you increase the flow rate of the control dripper, the 250 mils will drip into the pot more quickly and so the duration of the irrigation event decreases and your plant will get less water. Adjust the control dripper so that the irrigation delivers the appropriate amount of water to your plants at their current stage of growth. The interval between irrigation events is simply the time it takes for 250 mils to evaporate from the outside surface of the porous terracotta pot. The important thing to realise here is that the time it takes is determined by the prevailing weather conditions. When it is hot and dry, the water will evaporate more quickly and so the interval between irrigation events will be shorter. When it is cool and overcast, the water will evaporate more slowly and so the interval between irrigation events will be longer. If it rains, rainwater will collect in the saucer and drain into the pot. This means that the start of the next irrigation event will be delayed. In addition to the 250 mils that needs to evaporate, the rainwater that has entered the pot will also need to evaporate. The terracotta valve uses on-site weather data, namely evaporation and rainfall. Most smart irrigation controllers do not use on-site weather data. Instead, they use weather data from the Bureau of Meteorology. The terracotta valve can be used for both gravity feed and pressurized irrigation. It can be used with pressure compensating drippers and non-pressure compensating drippers. It can also be used with weeper hose or soaker hose. You can irrigate directly from a rainwater tank by gravity feed without using a pump, provided that the water level in the tank is at least one meter higher than the terracotta valve. The terracotta valve is a game changer for automated irrigation from a rainwater tank without using a pump. It is very simple, unpowered and low-tech, and therefore fewer things can go wrong. This remarkable low-cost invention may enable poor smallholders in remote water-scarce locations to grow higher-valued crops cost-effectively. The Terracotta Valve is available for sale online at the Measured Irrigation website, www.measuredirrigation.com.au. The Terracotta Valve user manual can be downloaded from the website. Did you find this video interesting? Please share it with friends and colleagues. Thank you.